going on guys so a few things going on with the 2jz xj one i got a new tablet for it oh it's not there right now forgot i took it in i went and checked my diff fluid here and yeah it's completely uh i think it's empty the other day when i had my jack under there I jacked it up by the differential. I noticed it had a little leak on there, so I looked at it and smelled it, and it smelled god awful. I figured I'd check the level. Uh, I popped popped open that top drain plug, and nothing came out. So she's a little low. I'm gonna top her off with some diff fluid. I'm glad that I caught it when I did. Yeah, we're gonna top that off. Then I'm gonna show you guys a new tablet that I got and show you how maybe you could have this on your setup. So I topped the rear end off with diff fluid. That nozzle that I had just wasn't long enough. I wasn't able to use the whole bottle. Yeah, it, it would have taken the whole bottle for sure. Cut the, the nozzle a little short. Yeah, the diff was thirsty for sure. Looked like three quarters of that bottle. It's a good thing I added more in it. But anyway, let's talk about this new tablet. So. The other day I was driving my old tablet, basically just died on me. It's been really hot out. It's been like 90, up, upper 90s for the past like couple weeks. That tablet is the original tablet that I bought with the Jeep. Never upgraded it. Never really went in depth and see how it exactly it works. I knew roughly how it works, but I'm gonna explain that all to you guys right now. Um, show you how you might be able to do this on your XJ or any car that has a standalone ECU. So probably not your factory XJ. I'm sure there's another way, but not this particular way. So first things first, I got this new tablet just at Best Buy, you know, Android tablet, it was like 120 bucks. Put some Velcro on the back so I can just remove it now. The old one was held on by 3M sticky tape and it was on there pretty good. So don't mind this nightmare in here. I'm gonna redo all this too. So you drop the glove box and you got the Megascore ECU, right? Everything tucked up behind there. And then you got this little adapter. That little gray adapter right there is what connects to your tablet or laptop. So I'll show you how that works right now. The old setup had this cord that was always plugged into the tablet. And that cord runs down here, plugs into this adapter. Well, when I got this, new tablet i had to buy this adapter i had to wait on wait for it on amazon the old tablet had this micro sd charger and obviously the new chart new tablets and everything has the type c charger i had to buy this adapter you had to buy like eight of them on amazon but whatever so that plugs in there now but for the meantime what i was doing i figured out you can switch this adapter to battery mode um it must have an internal battery in there because I burnt it out the other day. For the first couple days, I would flick this switch like that. That allows you to connect to the Bluetooth on the app. So for the longest time, since I own the Jeep, it's been on this setting, the cord plugged into it. That cord, that plugs into there. And then this cable runs behind the dash, which can plug into your tablet. I guess that keeps it charged. I don't know, I'm kinda gonna find out right now. This tablet's a lot newer. It turns on a lot quicker. Just updated technology. It's nothing fancy. It's a basic Samsung Galaxy tablet. So we're gonna try to connect this um, similar to the old setup. That's why I bought this adapter um, because this thing kept dying out on me and then I'd have to bring it inside, charge it. And yeah, it works, but I wanna try and see if I can avoid that and just keep this plugged in. Except, you know, if I go into a bad area, if I go to a restaurant and this thing's just kind of chilling up on there, I can take it out, take it inside with me. So we got the tablet booted up. And downloaded Shadow Dash. So Shadow Dash is the app that allows you to connect to the Megascore ECU via Bluetooth. So we're gonna open Shadow Dash here. And it's not gonna do anything because nothing's connected right now. That's if she'll start. She's a little cranky today. Oh, look at that, it's already connected somehow. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, when you first get this app, for me, everything was here except oil pressure, boost, and uh, spark table, so yeah. Um, you, you can set your parameters. You can see up here it's yellow, red. Um, you can set it. You can pretty much customize everything. Um, in here are all the sensors. So I go in 
to the app and I can select and edit each one of these to basically whatever sensor you have ran to your ECU. And all that does is laptop just communicates via Bluetooth to your ECU. I'm not sure exactly what Shadow Dash works with. In my case, the Mega Squirt 3 Shadow Dash, it's not really ideal. I guess maybe if you're LS swapped, you can do this in a Cherokee or if you have another 2JZ swap Cherokee. Um, yeah, it's something cool. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, you know, most people just run a Haltech, which is a little bit better, and they give you the dash display and everything. So this is kind of like the poor man's Haltech, I think. But it works pretty good. Take my tablet, I can stick it right up on the dash there. And I'm gonna try plugging this in and seeing if it charges. And yeah, I know it, it looks all sloppy in here. Um, someone just kind of threw it together, obviously, with some zip ties. Yeah, kind of just hanging there, but I'm gonna tuck this bad boy up and see if I can make some more space in here and I don't know, make it look a little bit better. So what I usually do is I just, you know, tuck that up and you know, forget it's there. Got some wires hanging there, but you know, you don't gotta worry about that. So yeah, guys, that's how my tablet's set up. Um, that's how it's always been ran. It's just an updated tablet now. Got the new Samsung Galaxy. I think it's an A7. A lot of people have been asking about that. It's really not as complicated as it seems. Easy peasy, right? transmission when I bought it I think I got all the way up to 260 you started to cook the fluid inside which resulted in the transmission burning out and that's why I got the new one with the new torque converter I'll try to make it a little spicy for you. 